this is going to be a brief comparison between watching Avatar in you know regular 2D and watching it in 3D. I haven't changed my opinion of the movie as a whole, so if you want a review of the movie, just, you know, already did that, just, you know, use the link. This is one of the first and only movies that I've watched in 3D, so, you know, I can't... I, I don't have a lot of basis for comparison, but I do think that they use it pretty well, and they don't overuse it. I mean, 2 hours and 40 minutes of watching a movie in 3D, that can be really straining, but it isn't any more than it needs to be in this. Um, you know, and, and they do use the effects. There's, there are, you know, several cool shots where it feels like stuff's coming at you or flying right by you and stuff like that. So, yeah, basically, if you're gonna watch it and you're not sure if you're gonna watch it more than once and you're sure that you're up for the whole 3D thing and for nearly three hours, then go for it. Go for it in 3D. Now, I have a couple of things that upon reflection, I think you need to be in the right mindset for the movie because otherwise it can, you know, it might rub you the wrong way. So, I, I do think that, I'd, I'd say you need to not worry too much about the science of the, and the, the biology. Try to just turn off the objective thinking and, I mean, the point is to think of this, the nature and the, the beings and the, the life forms and all that, the way they appear to people who don't know technology. You're not going to understand, you're not going to get an explanation. If you go into this movie expecting there to be explanations for, say, I mean, I've heard several people bitch about the, the floating you know, um, stuff that you see in the trailer. The the floating, like, islands. No, they are not explained. And, yeah, if, you know, I suppose, as far as we understand stuff, no, it doesn't make sense. It couldn't happen. But it's not, you're not supposed to look at it that way. If you can't turn off that part of your brain, then no, you're probably not gonna love the movie. You might not even like it. That is a fact. Another thing, Stephen Lang is a badass in this movie. That is also a fact. You're gonna get that once you've seen the movie. But yeah, if um, if you if you've seen a James Cameron movie, you pretty much know what to expect. He's a perfectionist. He makes stuff look damn good. He makes the drama work. He makes the characters fun and interesting. I think he writes dialogue well, um, with very few exceptions, like the suntan line in Terminator 2. And if you go in expecting something directed by him, then I think you will enjoy yourself.